Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. Good job making time for art. Let's get started. Okay, this next technique that we're gonna do is a gradient sort of color shift um, technique. So I'm gonna grab my jelly plate out of my storage bin here. Gonna take the paper off that I use to store it with. And I'd like to just line it right up on my cutting mat, but you can just put it straight on your table, whatever you're doing, it's gonna be fine. Get it on there, okay? And have your paper nearby, whatever you wanna print on. Um, if you want to print on a paper that already has a background, just be mindful of the other colors you're gonna choose. So I wouldn't do gold again, because I'd want it to be able to show up on the gold a different way. Um, for this one, we're pretty much gonna get a full color block like this anyway. So I think I'm just going to go with a fresh new piece of paper. And I'm gonna use the thicker stock, because I've got to practice a little bit, and I think I'm ready to go for it on this thicker stock. But you can choose to do a more practice paper if you like. Um, it's up to you, but this is kind of a nice one to do on the thicker paper because you're, it's going to be a nice background for you to work on. Okay, so I'm going to do a color shift with, what do I want to do? You could do golden blushing, or you could do umber and aloe, or you could do both. We'll just do umber and aloe first. So I'm going to just put a stripe of umber here at the top, a couple of stripes, and a little bit of aloe at the bottom been really into green lately, you know? It's just like fresh start, nice renewal type of colors. I'm into it. <clears throat> okay, and I think sometimes our natural thing is to do like this, right? But for this to have a gradient this way, we actually want to use our brayer this way. So we're just gonna put our brayer down on this top color and we're gonna move it back and forth so we get a nice thin layer. And we want to make sure that our brayer is moving, like I said before. So we're not, if we're, it's not moving, it's, you got too much paint and you need to move over to, for it to have some traction. But, so it's getting a little slick at the top there. So I'm just gonna keep moving it until I've got it all nice and even. And then once I've got a nice even coat at the top, I'm gonna start working my way down. And you can see that this paint is starting to get a little thinner as I move down and then I'm gonna pick up the aloe and I'm gonna go up with the aloe into the green. And then I'm gonna move back down into the aloe. So now we're getting a transition and then I'm gonna finish strong with the aloe at the bottom as I move down. And there we go, we got this nice gradient. So I used a lot of green and a little bit of aloe and you can decide where if you want your transition to be here, in the middle, at the top, whatever. Now you wanna work quickly because this is wet and we want to get a print when it's wet. I like just lining up my paper as best as I can, push it down and just sort of rub the paper onto the plate, nice and even and that's gonna get our paint to stick to our paper, like so. And then we'll get a nice peel and reveal here in a minute once you got that all nice and smooth and you feel like you got even pressure. I really like standing up for this because it helps me get the weight on there. So if you can work from a place that you're standing up, that's great. If not, that's okay. Just make sure you're getting the even pressure. Then I'm gonna peel it back. And I've got a nice ombre going on there. Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. And if you're worried about it being wet right away, you can dry it away from your gel plate um, with your dryer, or you can set it down to dry somewhere where it's not touching anything. But I just like to give it a good amount of drying before I set it down just so I know it's at least halfway there. <laughs> Plus I'm impatient, so I like things to be dry already. <laughs> and that's our gradient. Um, let's try it with one more color. I think that would be fun. So we'll put this down and we've got this green at the top already and this aloe at the bottom. And this is kind of dry. So what you could do 
Let's throw in another color on here just to clean your plate. And we'll try to pick up some of this other stuff that's going on here. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to grab a clean brayer for this. And I'm just going to put this pink on there. This is going to be wild, but I just want you to not fear weird stuff here, like weird color combos, whatever, just go for it. This is practice. So we're not being precious. I mean, we're never being precious, but especially not when we're practicing. So let's just get that on there. So this is not a gradient, but it's going to pick up our paint underneath. And then we'll do one more gradient just for practice. Just hanging out with it with me, just practicing. That's what we're doing. Okay. Set that down. We'll grab just my whatever paper here. Put that down. Just move it out. When I know I have paint that's stuck to the plate a little bit, I'll try to give that part a little more pressure so that that wet paint sticks to the old paint. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't, but that's okay. We'll just see what we got. Oh, it's looking cool. Kind of grungy and look how that paint just picked up most of that leftover paint. Isn't that cool? It's like cleans your plate and you got a cool texture. So it's kind of fun to pick up that old paint. And so then we got a little aloe at the bottom with the pink and the umber. You're supposed to do that away from your gel plate. Yeah, not fun. Okay, so let's do one more colorway just for practice. Why not? We'll just clean our plate really fast. Now I have more than one gel plate and so I'll work with more than one. If you guys have some of those smaller ones or you have more than one gel plate, you can set up another gradient and keep picking up the leftover paint on this one if you like, or you can just clean it and go for a fresh start. I think both are good. You're def it's definitely not necessary to have more than one gel plate, but you can do some back and forth creating if you did. All right, here we go. It's looking pretty clean to me. Let's see, I'm just gonna use this blank paper, see if I got it all clean. It's kind of a test run. Nothing, not a lot's coming up out there, so we're good. Okay, so let's do one more gradient. We'll do this pink and we'll do gold. It's gonna be a triple one. So I can practice and have fun and then we can use these backgrounds for other things. I want a good bit of aloe at the top on this one. So we'll transition into that. Now I've got pink on this brayer and then I got this aloe and gold on this brayer. So I'm gonna clean my brayer. But first I'm just going to, cause I don't like wasting paint. So I can have paint on my paper instead of paint on my paper towel, I'd prefer that. So I'm just gonna clean my brayer, just rolling it on regular paper like this. Just switch it that way. See if we get it all, get a little good amount off of there. So then just throw this in our pile for printing on. Grab my baby wipe, get the rest of that paint off of there. That is most is mostly aloe. So if we start with this gradient with the aloe that we have here, then it won't even be an issue. Now I don't like my brayer being too wet after I clean it and going straight into my paper. So I'm just going to run my brayer again on here just to get that last little remnant of paint. Now it's feeling clean and we can start with our triple gradient. Here we go. Oh yeah. And as you're working, you'll start filling your paint stick a little more to your plate. Your brayer will start really working nicely for you. It just takes a little time getting used to the supplies and just experimenting. So if it doesn't come out like mine right away, that's okay. That's okay. It will come or it'll be something different and that'll be cool too. We're not worried about it. Okay, so I got a lot of paint right here and instead of the brayer turning, it's kind of sliding. So if that ends up being an issue, you can just rub some of that paint off 
Veer Brayer, and then come back to that same spot. So here's my aloe, here's my gold. I'm just gonna come back in here. Now I'm getting that transition I'm looking for. There we go. You can work back into the aloe a little, and then back down with the gold. And then we're gonna work slowly into this blushing as our finish for a triple gradient, ombre, shift, whatever you wanna call this. Now you can work at your passes being really smooth or you can be okay with some of these lines in here. I kind of am okay with the lines. It's no big deal to me. And if you still have paint on your brayer like this, you can get your paper and come back, roll it on there. We got that gradient kind of roll there. It's kind of cool. So don't waste your paint, just keep going with it. Just make sure you got a stack of paper sitting around. Okay, so let's do our heavier paper because we practice. We're feeling good. We're gonna go for the for the good stuff here. Put this down. And we're gonna smooth our paper with our hand, just applying pressure. The neat thing about this jelly plate is it's squishy, so it'll take this pressure and really apply the paint evenly, which is awesome. All right, ready for the real peel and reveal here. Let's see. There we go. I kind of slid the bottom, but I'm okay with that. I think that's cool. And we can just hit it with a heat gun. Okay, so let's, we'll move my plate out of the way for a second and we'll clean that in just a minute. Let's put our paper right next to each other and see what we made. So we started out with a one ombre, then we cleaned our plate with pink and got this cool guy right here. And then we went for a triple. So fun, and this is gonna be even more fun as you layer more things on it. So we can try doing stenciling on that. We can try all kinds of, you know, techniques and this can be a foundation or you can use it just like this because it's kind of pretty that way. And you don't have to think about it in full sheets. You can think this is collage paper. I'm gonna cut a little part here or if we wanted to cut a house shape or something, you could start out with maybe, let's see, the bottom here and then your house shape kind of goes into that pink and that could be a really neat shape with those colors. There's so many possibilities here. So just keep practicing and stacking up the paper and then decide if you like it or if it's good or what it will be used for next. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to create with us. We love to see what you made and we love to share those things in um, a community with people who will support you. So you can share those with us on our Facebook group, Let's Make Art Journals, or on our Instagram using the hashtag Let's Make Art Journals. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time.